I've been to this country before. Yes, Gambia, you are free to yeah. do whatever. I'm free to do whatever. If you get arrested as a Gambian, I will get arrested. <laughs> but I never knew that this place actually exists. <laughs> Morning from the smiling coast of Africa, the smallest country in mainland Africa. But listen, this country is super gorgeous, and where I'm staying alone is absolutely beautiful, man. Like, yo, living in here is so therapeutic, man. See, as soon as I get out of my room, I come and find myself. In the beautiful Garden of Eden. You know, yesterday was Valentine's Day. But unfortunately, hey babe. A flower from the Garden of Eden to Eve. I'm not evil. <laughs> I'm not evil. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, babe. Happy Valentine's to you too, babe. How do you feel being in here? Uh, it's amazing. The place is extremely beautiful. We've been to the Gambia before, but last time we came, we didn't come here. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice to see Gambia has a lot more to offer. Listen, if I say it's therapeutic, it's seven o'clock right now. The sun is out already. And listen, <laughs> waking up to this view, I mean, greens. Listen, come, come, come closer. Let me show you something. Just come. When you wake up, when you get out of your door, either you see greens or you see blues, man. The ocean right there, the beach, the coconut, and the swimming pool. Right here is my room. Don't tell me that this is not worth dying for. I don't know why I didn't know that such place exists in the Gambia, but you know how we blow it? I've been telling you guys that in 2022, we're living life different. It's time to work out. Like, listen, I'm so, I look so healthy. I feel like I should have started this earlier. So, you know what, as we always do anytime we spend time in a resort, morning routine is working out. And I don't know whether my babe is used to working out, but come with me as she joins me. To support an African owned business, and this is why I chose to sleep in here because this place is owned by a Gambian man. I, I thought you got all your money that you're supposed to get in the US before you moved in here. There's some US ain't giving you no money, my brother. Come on, what do you mean by yeah. US is not giving you money? The US only takes money away from you. Anything African, I endorse it, it's by force, and you have to come spend time in here, especially my brothers from Nigeria, South Africa, wherever in Africa that you find yourself. Just take a vacation, come spend, but hey, listen, you can't come here alone. You can't come here alone. This is a place that you need to come with, babe. Listen, let me, let me show you something. Listen, um, when you come out of your room, you got a pool right here, and if you don't want to use the personal pool, you go the public pool, which <laughs> is absolutely beautiful. I, I feel like I got so much energy this morning just to tell you that I'm so proud of what that exists in here, knowing that it's owned by one of our own, but whenever you wake up, it feels like you're in Miami or <laughs> it feels like you're in the UK, in it. You know, people spend six months, three months in here just to escape winter in the West. And if you're in Africa, what do you want to escape? Escape that bustling city of Lagos and come spend time in here. Come, let's go work out and I'll tell you more about this place.
it's very important, yeah? So, I tell you all the time, all you need to do is to work out every day. You know, you, some of you might complain that you're busy 24 seven, but have you thought of taking one hour of your busy schedule every day? So instead of 24 seven, it could be 23 seven, yeah? I mean, it's so beautiful working out in the Gambia along the ocean, man. So you know what? Come with me and let's go. One, two, three, let's go. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Uh huh. Uh huh. Let's go. Oh my goodness! It's so good to be at Tamala Beach Resort. I've been here for like 30 minutes just waiting for you to come out because he told me not to go 30 minutes <laughs> <laughs> it's, been, it's been 30 minutes I met him and he's like you know what my wife will be so happy to meet you so I had to hang around I was even in there waiting you know for you to come out yeah. I didn't know because I wasn't I wasn't like today's my birthday today's your birthday Ca can I sing for you yes <laughs> see I'll sing for you oh, hold on I hardly do this but I'm gonna sing for you okay happy birthday to you <laughs> happy birthday to you happy birthday. <laughs> oh my goodness um, welcome what's your name by the way Anne Marie Anne Marie yeah Based in the Gambia? No. In America. You're based in America? Yeah. And what are you doing in the Gambia? Oh, wow. Lots of things. But come back, coming back to the motherland, that's what we're doing. We're in the process. I want to say welcome home. Yes. And enjoy your stay in the motherland. Thank, thank you. you. Um, thank you so much for choosing Gambia as your home. Yes. And uh, I know you came to visit now, yeah? Yes. But hoping that next time that I come to Gambia, I'm gonna ask you why you moved to the Gambia. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to say thank you for what you were doing for Africa and how you place a spotlight on Africa for the things that you believe in and being true to who you are. Thank you. Can I, can I hug you? Yes, you can. Oh, you, you want to get a picture? Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Yeah. How Juliet. are you doing? I'm doing all right. Yeah, you, you know, Juliet? Thank you, yes. Yeah, let me get a picture with you. Miss Trudy. Miss Trudy. Yeah, yes. you, got, you got free, you didn't for, think you got free for the price are, of one, right? didn't it? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good morning from the Gambia and we are still here in, in the smiling coast of Africa can you all smile with us <laughs> yeah. I got the best smile in the entire world man whether you like it or not can you smile for me babe yeah but I don't have lip gloss but it's not a natural smile <laughs> one thing I love about the Gambia is that as soon as you arrive everybody starts smiling <laughs> and it's so infectious that I go here and I started smiling but you know me I don't smile I love Yeah, we are still here at Tamala Resort. It's our last day in here. Yeah. And you know what? We actually came on a vacation. This is more like a engagement honeymoon vacation. Thank you for the vacation, babe. You're welcome, babe. Oh. It's, it's been so much fun. And finally, the vacation is ending. And I cannot end the vacation without sharing what goes on in Tamala mm -hmm. Beach Resort. It's actually so pretty in here, right? It's beautiful. Did you ever thought something like this exists in the Gambia? No way. No way. It, it, remember like our first time in the Gambia? Oh man. We were actually looking for places to promote. We couldn't get it. Mm -hmm. And we we're like, oh my God, this resort that we're also going to promote is not owned by an African. It's mm -hmm. actually owned by an African, I mean Moroccan, you know, um, yeah, but this one is actually owned by a Gambian. Mm -hmm. And sleeping here, promoting it, feels so special you know? I know right 
it's really nice to promote African owned business. I'm telling you. And you can tell they're putting the effort for a place to look like this. Ay, ay, ay. And this is not the only one. Mm -hmm. the five. Five of them. Five. Can you imagine? It's so inspiring for black people to own, you know. You you hear dreaming, oh, you want to own a resort, you uh -huh. know. And someone owns five. How inspiring is that? And, and as soon as you come here, you feel so fulfilled, you know, because mm -hmm. it, it makes you so inspired that yo it's possible i can also do it too yeah. so i'm just gonna tell you all don't give up on your dreams <sighs> nothing is impossible that's all i wanted to hear <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
um the bed is a queen size bed pretty big you know you can fit even four people <laughs> on this bed and um yes come with me let us show them the bathroom yes we have our bathroom here here we have our shower one thing i love about the shower is that the, the water the water is you can be as hot as you want and it's a lot of water no matter how long you stay in the shower it doesn't get cold do you get um we have our mirror over here uh we have our storage area over here so much space to put our clothes and then i feel like they have really you know applied some you know africanism in everything look at this for example this is so nice it's very african this is the coldest water i've ever entered in my entire life man it feels like i'm entering a pool of ice but you know what i have to do this for you guys for you to know that you know what i really care and cherish you all let's do this what oh my god my feet oh damn it finally entered oh my god wow yeah okay so this is how it is at tamala beach resort listen let me tell you guys something this is my pool view and my pool view i can literally see the ocean right there and that's my room got two beautiful women hi want to say hi to the camera hi <laughs> Yeah, Africa is the best place to be, man. I'm just gonna tell you something. This place is a land that you all need to come and experience, man. If your feet has never touched Africa, my brother, my sister, what are you doing? God bless our homeland, not Ghana, Africa. Talk to me, bro. Come and talk to me. Come closer. I'm, I'm just swimming right here, and then somebody just said, Oh, I'm a big fan, and I'm like, You should get closer so that he'll be able to say hello to you. Oh, man, he's, uh, he's coming. Look at him right there. He's coming, he's far away, but he was able to spot me. You're pulling me out! You're not ready. My brother! I always follow you doing a hard job. You always love, follow me? I love your job. I really like your work, you know? How? Hard work in Africa, support in Africa, my brother. That's uh, a bless. I love oh your job. Oh my goodness. But where are you, where are you from? Are you from the Gambia? Yeah, I'm Gambian, bro. Really? Yeah. You don't sound like you're based in the Gambia. Uh, I'm living in Germany, but you know, a bit, I know, living here, coming from the Gambia, yeah. How, how is life in the Gambia? My brother. Perfect. Beautiful. The people are friendly. Nice weather, nice food. I love it. I love it here, being, being here, you know. So I wish everybody to come once to see how here is going, you know. Why did you leave Gambia in the first place? Uh, you know, it's about, you know, Let's say, you know, it's about politics and all this stuff. We leave Gambia to go to Europe. Mm. And we believe that everything is Europe, not in, in, in Africa, you know? Oh. So this is the main problem, you know? People living here, struggling, go to Europe, and we think there is just like paradise, you know? At the end, we've been there, we know this is different, you know? You could work at everywhere, whether in Africa or there. The job we're doing in, in, in Europe, uh -huh. if we do it here, my brother, we will succeed. We're doing most of the job here, security job, cleaning toilets and all this stuff. Hmm. That's what African, most of them, what, that's what we're doing. You mean, you mean like the most of most of the Africans living in there? Yeah, clean. that's the job we're doing, security job, cleaning. I don't against that, that we're doing that. We could do that. That's the problem. That's, hmm. that, that's not no problem with it. Hmm. But we have to see, like, we have to come one day home and know that this place is the best place to go. My brother, if you work here, you don't feel like you are not an African. You, you're proud about it. Yeah. You know? In Germany, I stayed there almost 30 years. Whoa. I don't feel like I'm German. I'm, I'm an African. Anywhere you go, you know that you are an African. So they don't accept you like home, how they accept you. So it's two different categories, you know. 
Here is home, it's nice, the sun is shining, oh, the weather is cool, people uh, are friendly. Yeah. And you, the most important thing, what the European they don't have is vitamin D. <laughs> Boy, the sun is vitamin D. D. You don't, you, you know, you know, I live in Germany. The kids when they are born, till they get two years old, they have to take vitamin D tablet because they don't have the sun. Yeah. Here, God give us this vitamin D and we don't take with it, you know. And here we have the sun and we don't enjoy the sun water. Oh, here is too sunny. <laughs> Complain about yeah. everything about ha have, you, have you seen, like, when I came in here, I realized that so many um, white people are here. Yeah. And what are they doing? They are just standing. Yeah. You know, they're enjoying the sun. And yeah. this is the sun that we have in yeah. abundance that yeah. most of us yeah. are like, oh my God, this sun is too much. Like, yeah. listen. I'm in the pool and the sun is right in front of me. That's it. That's this it. is free. I, I'm not paying anything no. for it. But the job you do, my brother, we appreciate you're doing the oh. best job. So mm -hmm. in the pretty, the beautiful things of Africa, the nice things of Africa, I love it, you know. My brother. I love it, you know. Thank nah, you very much. Thank I, you. I really appreciate you, man. you, man. I think you made this video thank the you. best video. And I want <laughs> to say you. thank you so much for thank giving you. me an awesome interview. Yeah. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate it. Thank oh, you very much. Love thank it. you. Thank you. Sisters, oh, my God. I love you. I, I always look your videos, man. And that's, you know, that's what we like to, you know, have to see in Africa. My brother, me, the time I live here, I was young. This mm -hmm. was 93. Okay. And I thought that I wouldn't come to Africa. I was in Germany. You left 93? Yeah. I was, I was not born, young. you know? I was young, you know? <laughs> Whoa. And, and, and I said that, you know, and I've been to Europe and I said, oh, I will never come back to Africa, you know? You will never come that's, back? That's what, that's what my thinking, you know, because you think you go there, now you have everything. At the end of the day, my brother, you know, how, no matter how long you stay, you don't belong today. You know, all, all that he's saying is that, come back home yeah, and let's yeah. develop Africa together. Yeah, Africa belongs to you and yeah, I. Yeah. Listen, the person who owns this place used to base in America. Yeah. And one of them based in the UK. Yeah. They put their resources together. Exactly. And here we are in 2019 when I came to Gambia, there was nothing like this. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, today I'm in the Gambia yeah. because two people Join saw the vision, yeah. joined their hands together to build this. Yeah. What are you waiting for? five Gambians, 10 Gambians can put their money together and come build something because listen, the last time I came here, the tourism is in the, was in the hands of um, foreigners. foreigners yeah. Now, Gambians are taking ownership. Yeah. You know, a big round of applause to all Gambians watching us. Thank you so much for everything. I really appreciate you all. And let me tell you something. If you ever visit Gambia, come sleep at Tamala Beach Resort. And I know that you won't regret. My brother, this Thank place, you. is it beautiful to be here? I'm happy, sir. That's You're the happy? Best place. Happy, nice, beautiful. The sun shines, the sunset will go down, and you see, happy, my brother. And appreciate your job again. Oh, you did bless a good us, job. man. I just want to tell you all that don't be intimidated by someone else's success. Focus on yourself, build yourself, and with determination, perseverance, honesty, you will make it. Let's do this and say peace out to the camera. One, two, three, let's go. Woo! I love you all and I'm gonna see you all in the next one. Peace out.